Ladies and gentlemen, we're here on the Spokane River. We caught a beautiful day at the end of May. I think it'll be a great show. We're going after some rainbow. Stick around. We hiked into the Spokane River just below a dam. This is a pretty cool place. Kind of rocky, you gotta watch where you're going. Guess there are some snakes down here, but we'll keep an eye out for that too. Here's a little hint. If there is snakes around, always have your partner go first. All right, I'm trying to make sure I'm doubling up this line. I'm a little bit famous for forgetting a loop, which you know how irritating that could be when you start casting. So, just gonna do a quick double check. And it looks good. That looks fishy. I'm gonna try this guy. Um, I am tying an improved clinch knot, a very simple knot. This one only takes me about 15 minutes to tie because I have no fine motor skills. But there it is. There's one. Steve. All Whoa, right. Big jump. Whoa. <laughs> Two big jumps. Oh boy. Darn it. That's a big fish. Yeah. Good jumper. Steve is casting a streamer off a nice point with the sink tip line and stripping in. There, uh, had a hit again, but wow. Oh, I just got a little tag. There's one. All right. Woo. Good fighter. Not sure how big it is, but it's a good fighter. I know it's got a lot of current to work with. Looks like a rainbow. Here it comes. Come on, baby. Yeah. Good oh, fish. That's a nice trout. Probably about a 12 inch rainbow. All right, here's a nice little rainbow. Maybe 12, something like that. Boy, it's good fighting fish. Oh, that's nice. Hit that little streamer pattern. I'm not sure exactly if it's supposed to be a, like a streamer or a crawdad pattern. It's got a little green and a little orange on it. Uh, but boy, first couple casts had two strikes and one fish. I lost the first fly I put on. It was an olive woolly bugger with the bead head. And I switched to this fly. It's a friend of mine tied it up. I'm not sure if it's a minnow or a crawdad, but it's got that a little orange on it. Worked well. Tag, got it. Oh, boy. Oh, nice jump. Shoot. Oh. Darn it. Dad, that that's, was a good fish. It's a good jumper. There, there she is. Good one. All right. This is a bigger fish. Oh, man, that's a good fish, Ladin. Oh, boy. Did you see that jump? That's a big smallmouth. Wow, it's really cranking. Okay. I mean, it's the biggest smallmouth I've ever had on. Keep trying to keep them in this calm water. Boy, that thing jumped like a dang yeah, that's big great. trout. Look at the size of that wow. thing. Get that baby in, man. I'm trying. <laughs> Oh boy. Oh yeah, that's a good fish. It's... Oh my wow. gosh. Dad, I've never seen a smallmouth this big in my life. Amazing. Oh my gosh. What do you think? Four, three, four pounds? Yeah, it's just a mongo. Ooh, hold on. Bass. What a gorgeous fish. Oh my gosh. I mean, the size of that bass mm. is huge. I'm not sure. <laughs> it's just lumbering off. I knew it was a huge fish. I never expected to catch a smallmouth that big. 
haven't seen one. I mean, yeah. Other people, I'm sure, catch them, but that's that's a first for me, and that was really exciting. On the stuff. fly, yeah, fly, fly rod. That's on good for fly. people to know. Yeah, here on the, here on the Spokane, Spokane River. River. Great trout fishing, but that bass is something else. All right. Yeah. <laughs> this is a range release, and it's a pretty cool tool. And what you do is you take this little loop and you put the leader right through there and you slide it down over the head of the hook down to the bend of the hook and the fish will just pop right off of there. It's kind of a neat deal. I caught that smallmouth on an olive green minnow pattern and I was just casting out in the fast water just stripping it through the seam and that thing hit like a ton of bricks, made a big jump. It was pretty exciting. I'm going to try a dry. Yeah, a bunch of caddis. Do you have a caddis? No. I just have a big old Chernobyl. Got him. Wow. On the dry. On the dry. On the dry. It's a pretty good fish, too. Wow, that's cool. I just had a hit. All right. Wow, he's taking out line. Wow, that looks like a good fish. Boy, that was awesome. Steve finally had the nice rainbow within his sights and was ready with the net. On a big old dry fly, a big chubby Chernobyl. Or no, a Chernobyl ant. It. Big Chernobyl ant. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. I gave it a little bit of a twitch and a uh, big old head pops up and grabs it. Wow. <laughs> All right, here he comes. It might be a small mouth. I, I can't don't tell. I think so. I saw the silver side. Did you? Boy, it's a big trout. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that's a nice fish. Gosh, that was a fun fight. Look at that fat fish. Maybe 15 inches or so. I thought that thing was gonna be 18 inches and three pounds the way it jumped. Maybe just because of the silhouette behind the sun or something. What a fun fight. Goodness. Two huge jumps out of the water. Ah, dry fly. I saw fish rise right in here about 30 minutes ago. There are caddis hatching and I didn't have any, but I did have this big Chernobyl ant and it's got the brown on the underside. I don't know why, but that fish took that fly. The first time I cast it out, I just let it dead drift into this back eddy. There's a nice current here. The next time, the second time when I got the hit, I cast out into the slower water, stripped it a couple times, and then let it sit, and that's when that big fish hit. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed the show from the beautiful Spokane River. Please join us next week for more Fishing with Ladin. <laughs>